Hi, it's Jan Diatri. It's just a given that if you focus, your vision for success will become much clearer. Find out what you do best and focus on making it better. That's true whether you're a restaurant or a ride. And I've got both on this Affordable Eats, Affordable Drive. You can bet when Ford takes an already popular car and decides to redesign it to make it even more lovable, you gotta know that Ford focused on all the things we want on four wheels. A modern design, more comfort, better fuel economy, a peppy engine, and someone to talk to. Please say a command. Climate on. Climate on. Meet the new 2012 Ford Focus. From performance and handling to the electronics and navigation, Motor Trend says the 2012 Ford Focus owns the medium sized compact car category. And Mike Gilbert at Sanderson Ford in Glendale had just what I was looking for the keys to this model with a makeover. It's completely redesigned for 2012, um, so from, a, a, from the frame, engine up, everything's brand new on the Focus for this year. Um, they have two different models. They have a sedan, this is the hatchback. And then in those two models, they have four different trims. Let's start with how it handles. How does torque vectoring control grab you? Now what that does, it sounds really complicated, but what it actually does is when you're going into a turn, the vehicle's computer can tell you if you're pulling too much to the right or left, it will actually adjust the power and the braking to those front wheels to make sure that you're hugging that curve and you're going exactly where you want it to go. Slick lights, Mike. Yeah, uh, what they've done is kind of a clamshell here where you've got a nice big turn signal and large lights, nice big uh, brake lights. So if somebody's behind you, they definitely have no problem seeing your brake lights and they'll also see your turn signal. Safety features? Absolutely. They actually are putting blind spot mirrors on both sides. So um, you can set those mirrors so they're in a good position. What a lot of people have really commented on is how they've contoured the backs of these seats. So even though the front uh, passenger is going to have plenty of room in that front seat, their back's going to be all the way back, they've um, concaved this bottom of the seat in to give the back passengers a lot of leg room back there. So Nice. And how about trunk space? Trunk space. This one is the uh, hatchback. So you've got a nice big opening back here. And then you've got a nice wide and deep hatchback area. And then if you need to go through this back seat, you can put those back seats down. That's going to give you even more loading space back here. This trim level has the Ford My Touch, which is really class exclusive to be able to get this in a midsize sedan. Through this Ford My Touch system, you can control your cell phone, your navigation if you have it, your um, radio, so you can do uh, Sirius Satellite Radio, your CD, or any uh, radio stations, or control your climate control through your uh, front display screen through your display screen on the, the center here, or all that stuff can be controlled through voice commands. And check out this hot feature. The Focus becomes your Wi-Fi hot spot. So if somebody in the back wants to use their laptops or use their devices that are Wi-Fi enabled, you can actually plug one of those Wi-Fi cards in there, plug it right in there, and the whole vehicle's a Wi-Fi hotspot. From a sportiness standpoint, it's got a peppy little engine. It's a 2.0 engine, but it's a peppy engine, giving you great fuel economy. But when you need that power, if you've got a heavy foot like me, you want power You know when you're on the freeway and you're trying to pass somebody. OK, the focus is yours, Jan. So I hope you're going someplace fun. And if you can bring me back like something to eat, that would be awesome, because I haven't had a chance to grab lunch. The new Ford Focus has really gotten the buzz lately. Cars.com calls it the most complete package in the compact car market with a European, very expensive feel. What I love about it, of course, is 40 miles per gallon on the highway, 28 in the city. Oh, and I love the way it hugs a tight turn, too. So today, it's all about focus. So I thought I'd take you someplace for lunch that's been very successful in Phoenix for many years. Take a look at what happens when a business focuses on what they do best. How many sliders does it take to fill a Chicago-style sandwich spot? Just one, if it's an original Windy City slider and it's from the Chicago Hamburger Company in Phoenix. Take a look at what happens every single day, like Cub Clockwork. And all because of Bob Papanduras, the pappy of this place for 22 years. That corner, Cermak Complina, is on the south side of Chicago. And those came off the corner where my dad's restaurant was. And when I bought this in 89, my dad was still in business there. And that was actually a, a gift of the Chicago Police Department who used to hang out at my dad's restaurant. It's food and it's a neighborhood joint. You run into people you know here. You start conversations with a table next to you that you don't know. There's a lot of familiarity, which, which gives you a lot of comfort. His regulars, and there are a lot of them, come to share newfound treasures and maybe add a few to a sports memorabilia collection. Ernie Banks. You can see the big E, though. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I'm hoping that they come because they like the food, which I think they do. Well, sliders by far are my number one seller. We sell probably 500 a day. In my genius, I was going to take them off the menu when I first bought this place in 89. I worked one day, realized most people had sliders and said, that ah, they stay. Dogs out of Chicago, they're Vienna beef. We bring them in from Chicago, we bring our buns in and many of the ingredients on top of them. They're my number two seller. My big burger, my third pound burger, uh, been at ground chuck, it's broiled. That's a great burger, it's probably the best burger I make. We buy our beef from Chicago, but we make our own jardinera mix, we make our own bell peppers. And what makes his mom's tuna salad so good? Uh, well, it's my mom's recipe, hello. But Bob never lost the focus of what his Chicago hamburger company is all about. We're a Chicago sandwich joint first and foremost. We're definitely a friendly family environment and it's just a real comfortable place to be. It's enviable, a really nice guy and his clothespins ticket hangers, 97 cent sliders surrounded by sports stuff. It's all some kind of fun on 38th Street and Indian School in Phoenix. Yeah, focusing on what you do best is the best way to get successful. It's what Ford did, and it's what Sanderson Ford did, where we picked up the focus. By the way, I got Mike some sliders. They may make it back, and they may not. Oh, great sliders. Wait a minute. Oh, that's just cold. Sorry, Mike. That was awful of me. I might have to borrow that Focus and go grab you some more burgers. We'll see you there, or where the road leads us next on Affordable Eats, Affordable Drives.